director of California catching up with super flyweight professional fighter Agnesa Kirakosian for an all. Agnesia, uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to meet you. Talk to us about your professional career and how long you've been in the sport for. Um, I've been boxing uh, probably eight to nine years since I was uh, 23 years old. Um, I've been boxing for about eight years So you're originally from Armenia. How, how long have you been living here in the States? Uh, for like 20, 22 years. Oh, okay. So <laughs> pretty much an, an American. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> what uh, what made you want to uh, start boxing? Um, uh, well, I always liked like, you know, fighting movies and I always liked boxing. I thought it was cool and my grandpa was would always watch. And But, but you know, I didn't know like where to go or anything. But when I came, uh, when I went to Glendale Community College. Okay. I uh, was it, there was a club, there was a boxing club, and then they were asking me if I wanted to join. And right. and when I started, I like never stopped. You know. A lot of Armenian professional fighters train out of the Glendale area. I know Ronda Rousey was training at one of those uh, boxing oh, yeah. gyms for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Are you uh, you staying in clutch? Are you friends with any of those uh, pro fighters in the Glendale area? In the Glendale area. Um, I mean, I, I've met like Bonus, I know okay. him. Bonus yeah. Mario Rossi? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I met him at like El Elsa's. He was in line to buy food and he was like, you know, you can sit with us. And I was like, all right. So I met his whole team. What about Vic Darchini, a former world champion? I haven't met him, but I've seen him fight. I, I wish I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll meet him soon, you know? <laughs> when do you think you'll be making your US debut here? You were here in a, at a, on a Red Hot Boxing promotion. It's a good opportunity to expose yourself, tell the audience who you are. Um, I know you've been, um, you probably had, Looking forward to that day uh, for you to be fighting in the yeah. US. I mean, I've been trying to fight here already, like a few times I had offers, but then like the opponents didn't want to, so it's kind of like hard, I don't know if it's, it's been hard to make the fights, but so if anyone, like any promotions want to put me on, like right. I'm ready, I'm, I'm, I stay ready to, you know, I'm ready to What would be the ideal weight class for you to make your, your 112 day? or 115, so. Eduardo was telling me your massage therapist that you've been uh, sparring some of those uh, very popular LA fighters here, such as La Cobra Ruiz. Yeah. What's that experience been like for you? It's been good. It's intense because Cobra's a champion, you know, and she's a warrior too. And um, I love like sparring people, you know, like that are better than me, and they make they help me to get better too, you know. Um, it's been cool. It's just uh, I've been getting more comfortable in the ring with you know some of the some of the girls. I scored like Sinisa Estrada too oh, there you before, go. and then um, yeah, it's cool because I feel like now there's a lot more women fighters just coming up, and it's like the competition, you know, is going up. So right. it's like you know, iron sharpens iron, so everybody's helping each other. What do you think of Sinisa becoming a free agent now? A free agent? I think that's awesome, and um, I'm proud of her, and that's that's pretty pretty crazy because she's branching out. You know, she got that. Right. You know, she got to where she is, but. She's a good, uh, great boxing commentator as well. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Who do you look up to then uh, in the in female boxing? Who do you in think is the boxing? best uh, female uh, fighter out there? Well, honestly, I, I think I think Sinisa Estrada is one, one of the, the best. Yeah, she's okay. The best. I think. Yeah. She, uh, yeah. So you've been you you shared like, a lot of training camps with her. Do you spar? I've um, had like one training camp. Yeah. Okay. A few like you know, I help I help her out to spar. I know, I know, but <laughs> we're, we're going to close up the interview pretty quick. So what would it take for one of these local promoters for you to showcase your skill? What would you tell those promoters? Right now is your opportunity. You know, I'm Agnesa Kirokosian. <laughs> give me give me a chance. Yeah. I want to prove everybody that I got the goods to, to entertain the crowd and to be yeah. a great <laughs> well, I'm, I, I'm Agnesa Kirokosian and I think you guys have been sleeping on me. You should put me on your show hopefully soon because I'm going to bring the fire. I'm going to bring the excitement. I know. 
that's why my name is Spitfire, you know? Okay. And right. I feel like I, I can that, I you chose show that nickname yourself? Or no, I don't think you should ever choose your own nickname. As right. a boxer, I feel like a nickname is you given to you. You should earn it, right? You should earn it, but it's given to you, you know? And my coach, he, uh, Jesse Lechuga, he gave me that nickname okay. after the Spitfire plane. Right. Yeah, um, so he, yeah. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. And what about your your uh, Armenian fan base? Do, you, do they do they know who you are? Um, sort of. Uh, I think not yet, but hopefully they they get to know me. Yeah. But they'll see. You know, they'll they'll get to know me more. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Yes. Prospect Thank Superfly you. with Prospect Agnesa Kirakosian making trying to make his, her U.S. debut pretty soon here. Somewhere, anybody, any promoter. Thank you very much, Agnesa. Thank Appreciate you. it.